So basically now I can go ahead and calculate my AC parameters. AC analysis. Before that, I'm going to enter those values here. So this is 400 kilo ohms, 400 kilo ohms. Now my voltage gain is going to be approximately equal to one, not much to calculate here. That's just because this is an emitter follower. My input resistance is going to be equal to R1 in parallel with R2 in parallel with RIB, the resistance looking into the base of the transistor, which by the reflection rule is going to be equal to beta times the overall uh, resistance connected to the emitter. So beta times little re plus capital R. -E. This gives me 400k in parallel with 400k in parallel with 100 times in little array we haven't calculated just yet. Um, I'm going to calculate it down here. It's equal to the thermal voltage divided by the quiescent collector current. Thermal voltage at room temperature is approximately 25 millivolts. Uh, IC is 0.5 milliamps, so that gives me an RE of 50 ohms. So 50 plus 20k. And we can see that this parallel combination is approximately equal to 200k. And uh, this will be approximately equal to um, uh, 100 times 20k, that's going to be 2 gigs. So. so the parallel combination of a 200k and a 2 gig is going to be approximately equal to 200k. And so my R in is approximately equal to R1 in parallel with R2 or 200 kilo ohms. Now for my R out calculation, and I'm going to have R out being equal to R E um, in parallel with, and I have again my little R E here. Remember R out, um, I'm looking at the resistance from this terminal. Uh, and so I have R E in parallel with little re plus uh, the resistance looking uh, at the base or towards the base of the transistor, which we need to apply the inverse reflection rule, and that all gets divided by 1 over beta. So it's going to be uh, in parallel with Re plus 1 over beta times resistance connected to the base, which is R1 in parallel with R2. And in this case, we are given a value for the early voltage, which means we can just plain ignore little at all. However, we're going to see how um, in the approximations it's, it's going to go. But just so that um, you see how it will play a role in the, in the equations, uh, little at all will be the um, resistance connected there. And so we, technically speaking, we should connect that in parallel with little RO. Uh, however, little RO is going to be, you can calculate it here, VA, which is the early voltage divided by IC. The early voltage we're giving is 100 volts over 0.5 milliamps, so this is going to be 200 kilo ohms. Um, so much larger than RE, um, an order of magnitude larger than RE, and so RE is going to dominate uh, the parallel combination of the two. And so I can rewrite this as um, RE is 20K in parallel with 50 plus 200K divided by 100 in parallel with um, little arrow, which is 200K. Uh, this resistance here, we do the calculation. Uh, 200K divided by 100 is going to be um, 2K. 2k plus 50, I'm going to approximate it roughly as 2k. And so I have 20k in parallel with 2k in parallel with 200k. Uh, the 2k uh, resistance is much smaller than the others, so it's going to dominate the parallel combination. So I'm going to approximate the whole thing as being uh, 2 kilo ohms. And so we have a gain of 1, an input resistance of roughly 200k, and an output resistance of roughly 2k. 
Note is that uh, for similar characteristics to the common emitter amplifier that we previously designed, uh, the common collector amplifier or emitter follower has uh, an input resistance that is 10 times larger than the one we had found for the common emitter. The one for the common emitter was 20k, this is 200k, so um, larger by, a fact by an order of magnitude. And the output resistance in the common emitter amplifier was also 20k, remember was equal to RC. Uh, whereas in this case, it's 2K, so we have uh, improved our output resistance or decreased our output resistance also by a factor of 10.